tonight. All eyes are on the waters of the Mississippi Sound. This following the opening of the Bonnie Carey Spillway in Louisiana for the second time this year. That has never happened before in the 88 hi year history of the spillway. It was open to relieve flooding pressure along the Mississippi River. And as Doug Walker reports, what's good for Louisiana is anything but for Mississippi. The news the Commission on Marine Resources heard today was not good. With the opening of the spillway, literally hundreds of millions of gallons of fresh water will eventually pour into the Mississippi Sound. This opening is even worse than the first one for everything that lives in salt water. The second opening has a high potential of impact because the water temperatures are higher than they are in March and April. And we're into May now. During the first 80 years, the spillway was opened only a handful of times. In recent years, a lot more than that. We are seeing a repeated pattern of the Bondi Carry, and we're very concerned about the cumulative impacts as well as those that for this year alone. It's definitely a major concern seeing that trend when you have so many years of non openings and then. Uh, clusters such as we've seen since 2011 of these multiple openings. Now when we think about the invasion of all those millions of gallons of fresh water coming into the Mississippi Sound, we think of the aquatic life that's harmed, mostly oysters, but it goes much, much deeper than that. From uh, marine mammal potential impacts all the way down to crabs, uh, even the mi microbenthos, the invertebrates in the mud and the sand are impacted by fresh water. So pretty much from top to bottom. And the longer the spillway remains open, the adverse marine impact can only get worse. In Biloxi, Doug Walker, WLOX News Now. Officials with DMR will continue to monitor the impact of the spillway opening, which could last for several more weeks.